Hey, we're back at it. We got a new job. It is this chunk they're going to cut. We got to mark this, which means we got to go from here to here to here. In the 19, in 1980, it was marked and blazed. So hopefully there'll be a ton of evidence in there. And, uh... We'll go get her done. Check this out. There's a dang owl sitting right here, hanging out, waiting for me to go to work. He's pretty cool. Hoo. All right, let's get out of the truck. Uh, lines start somewhere in this thick reprod stuff, which isn't going to be cool. But I think once we get over here, I'm just sitting in the truck. Once we get over here, it's going to get into some bigger timber, maybe copy so i think since today is first day out here on the job and just recon just gonna lay out control and set bring pack posts in that owl is still sitting there we're gonna go meet line right here so we'll see if he flies away probably near those trees and then go we gotta find the pin then we'll lay out and find the other pin and then probably work on this line first i'm not sure we'll probably work on this line first and then the They'll start logging the other line, and uh, we will have wanted to have done that first. Copy. That's how it always works. All right, let's see if this owl... Oh, there he goes. Well, I blew it. All right, something made me a little path down here. So if this was blazed in the 80s, I bet these two big trees must have blaze marks in them. So let's go look at them at breast height. <laughs> Copy. Hey, it's not two trees. It's one big old school marm. Okay. Let's see if line is anywhere close to these. Oh, it's thick in here. What do we got? We got a paint mark. Paint mark. That could be an old huge blaze. Might be a line tree. I don't know. I think we're close to line. We got to go this way a long ways. To find the pen, let's go find it. All right, here's some blue ribbon. Where am I in here? Let's break out the compass and see where, what direction I'm even facing. What am I set for? East. Hop, hop. I am facing west. That way. Hey, what's that? Stand by. Oh, that's a big old spider web. Ah, oh, he's all over me. Stand by. I see something over here. Oh, that spider's on me. I know it. It's fine. Hey. Posted. Hey. Hey. Posted in 1980. Copy. Hey, there's some blue ribbon over there. Okay, this is going to be crappy for a while, but it's fine. It's what we do. All right, so this is probably line-ish. Let's follow it till we get to a pen. I think it's... I actually brought the notes today. I think it's, I don't know, I got bearing trees, so. I did not bring a metal detector, but we don't need one. We smell ferrous metals, copy. So because of this old survey from 1980, it has these dashed marks on the line, which you go to the legend, and it says those dashed marks, line blazed and marked with metal fence posts. Copy. So since this survey was done, 1980 magnetic declination has changed a little bit and uh so what i like to do is if i can find another post and see between them then i like to set my compass on that actual angle that the old surveyor was using post to post and then it keeps me online better because my compass has changed since 1980 a few degrees to now and uh we can find another post in here somewhere. Get between them, lock our compass in. By the time we get to the very end, we'll be closer than we would have been following our compass angle. Copy. Well, I'm a ways in here. I never did find another post, but I think line might be out in this thick brushy stuff, but I'm hoping I can pop into here, into the dark reprod, and traverse through and just do side shots out to the brushy line. So I'll be able to get a lot more 
work done with a lot less hacking. Copy. Okay, now we're in the land of bearing trees, so I don't see any scars on any of these. I think it's going to be somewhere. I guess I can check my notes on how big the trees were. What is this? E, 16th corner, three-quarter pipe we're looking for, four by four post, 42 inch fur, 66 inch fur, holy smokes. Those are gonna be, well, those from 1910. All right, he set a 10 incher and a 10 incher. 20 feet away and five feet away. And so in 80, oh, that might be one of these bigger ones. I gotta go examine more. I'm kind of worried I might be looking for stumps like that one. This one's probably cut in 1980. They probably had it surveyed so they could log. And they replanted with a bunch of cedar. Hey, what's that? Oh my god, I was standing right next to it. What have we? Oh my god, yes. Wow, I'm a dummy. I was standing right on it, talking to the camera. Is this the old remnants of the 4x4 post? Yep. White 4x4 post. And a pipe, three-quarter pipe. Sweet. We got her. This is our starting point. Heading, what? Heading east. Out of here. Don't look good. Oh, nice. That's awesome. All right. Three-quarter pipe found. White post found. Sometimes they scribe in the, in the township and range in this. Probably not. Let's find some bearing tree stumps. Maybe that one. It's five feet-ish. All right. Anyway, got her. Okay, so on the old survey, it says a 10-incher fur. North, 62 west, 5.1. So I got 62. North, 62 west. Cranked into my thing. My thing. And it's that guy, right here. Hey, look at that, old scoring. And a low cut. I wonder if we can find the pitch seam in this sucker. I'm not gonna mess with him. This tells me it is what I'm looking for. 10 inches, so you could go in here to the center ring. Oh, that's pokey. Center ring, oh, it'd be right here. So you go to center ring, come out five inches because that would be a 10 inch diameter in 1980 and you can see how it, it's there's this blaze line if you took a chisel and split that off there'd be scribing back there probably bt they cut this one pretty low so we got one more let's crank in an angle 20 feet away i think it's over there somewhere and go find the other one okay here's the other bt stump you can see that pitch seam right there they cut these real low. It might just be a, a T or a B, and then you'd have your township and range and whatever you want to describe into it section. But uh, we got them both. Now let's crank in the old stuff from 1910. Probably be, might even just be holes in the ground where everything's rotted away and it just left a divot. Copy. All right, from 1910 north, 36 east, 50, 50 what? 58 feet. That way. Uh, that way. Let's roughly pace off 58 feet and look for something that was 48 inches diameter in 80. Huh, it might be this guy. It said no scar. Looks like something was digging into it to see. But it might not have been cut. Nah, I don't know. I don't really care. It's the 16th corner. It's got zero live BTs, so we're probably going to have to do new BTs. So Then I'll get more accurate in here. Right now, I want to lay out back towards the truck and then down, hopefully find the other pen at the other end of this, whatever it is, half mile today. Oh, there's a stump over there, biggin'. Yeah, copy. Let's uh, lay out back from this guy. I'd ask, hey Jed, what's brushing line look like? It looks like whacking a bunch of brush until you can see ribbon from a long way away. Copy. 
Hey, look at that. Down darn highway. And hopefully I got high enough, whacked high enough that I can get up this rise and then see, psh, copy. I was just taking a little break from whacking to just kind of walk through this nice cool reap rod and look for sheds. But hey, look what I found. Looks like to be a coyote. Lower jaw. Score, that's a good tooth. It's in there pretty good too. Let's look around for some more stuff and then we'll get back to work once we cool our bones. All right, back to work, horse flies found me. So this first shot, we got a long ways. We probably got 200 feet, I'm gonna have to put a side shot back there by that big stump. But uh, yeah, we whacked it and it worked out real good. So now I'm a little bit, probably 50 feet off line. I'm gonna correct over on my next shot, probably through here, get as far as I can get. But that first shot worked out good. I'm putting a nail on a tree back there. All right, we've knocked about 200 yards off through this jungle. Doing pretty good. Eat me a snack pack and then I'm afraid it's going through this vine maple stuff. It's going to go and start dropping off the mountain. Not cool. Copy. Darn it, it is. I can see a little pink right through here. I'm going to have to go right here. Oh, but man, it is getting... It is getting real steep. It's going to drop right off this sucker. We want to go. Oh, boy. We'll finger it out. I really don't want to go down into there. I think I'm going to try and stay up here. Oh. Another one done. Another one done. And another one bites the dust. Okay. I see pink. I see my slot. I'm heading for it. Whacking everything. I'd really like to find another post. I hope it's not down there on the big maple or alder. Because that post we found originally could have been, it was kind of far into the reprod. It could have been moved or who knows. I'd like to be over here on this ridge. But where I'd like to go and where I think I'm going to have to go are two different things. I think I'm going to go look down here see if I can't find a post and Get me back closer to line. Hey, ask and you shall receive. And it is down there a little bit, but not bad. I can pull over, it's not way down into the crud. So here's the post. We're gonna be going from here. What? Which way a long ways? Oh my God, it's gonna hit the ridge. Yes! All right, this might not be too bad, copy. Boy, sometimes the surveying gods are just on your side. There's pink right there. I said I wanted to be right here on this ridge, right here. And I can tie that post as a side shot and do what I want to do. Yes. All right, enough gasmin over good shots, copy. My first lobster mushroom of the year. Oh, he is spawned out. Never mind. I'm not seeing any tree blazes, but I am seeing little ticks of remnants of blue flagging, but I don't think this was from the 80s survey. But we're probably close enough to pull. I'm just glad it's not down there. Or down there. Holy crap. We were on this little knife ridge, and I'm glad. Copy. Okay, here's... This is a big old turd. I mean, that's that looks like freaking wolf. But uh, there's big old right next to the poop. Wouldn't you know it? But he's probably good and solid in there. I might have to keep him and eat him. We'll do a bug check. These things fill up with bugs like before they even pop out of the ground. Let me move some of this feces. Here's another one. I bet that one's a little fresher. Bug check. See, he would have been good, but I don't feel like. I mean, it's just nutrients at that point. It's probably all hair. That just got to be the biggest coyote I've ever seen. Unless it's a wolf, there might be wolves. So we found our next post right before it just absolutely bails off here. So that's good. What are we looking back at? Uh, I bet you if I pick the right spot and whack the right stuff, I won't have a chance in hell. 
All right, getting things to work in here. That's basically straight up and down right there. To get it to work, I think I'm going to go find the end, which is a couple hundred yards that way, and work back and learn the terrain. I might be able to do side shots down over that and stay on this ridge. I don't know yet. A little recon might help in the future. Copy. Well, maybe the biggest lobster mushroom I've ever found. Huh. He's a beast. Anyways, we're, I don't know. So, somewhere up here is the corner. I am sweating my butt off. Copy. Some dang pigeons in the trees. I'm afraid it's going to be way down there. We're looking for a three-quarter pipe. 14-inch fur, 22 feet away, 36-inch fur, 9 feet away. Oh, darn it, I love this ridge. It's nice walking, but I guess we got to go down there and look. Copy. I wish the old surveyor would have gave a call and said if it was on the steepest dang hillside in the world. Uh, I'm just trying to find a post somewhere. Dang it. Don't slip and fall. Hey, look at that. Got him. Old bearing tree stump. That means... What? Hey, there he is. There's a something. Hold on, stand by. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Um, ribbon everywhere. Someone's been here. Why? Why? Haha! Got him. He's all mushroomed out like a cigar in a old Looney Tunes cartoon. Okay. Oh man. There's the ridge way up there. It won't be terrible, but it'll be a little terrible. Coffee, we got him. And from here. We are going a half a mile, what, that way? I don't know. I don't want to think about it yet. That looks like an old scar. This must be the other bearing tree. There's an old scar. Probably find a pitch seam. I don't know. Anyways, we're there. Okay, let's go lay out from this guy. I'm going to hike back up the ridge and then go see if I can see him from up there. And then probably lay out to fill in. And then probably go back to the truck and go to happy hour because it's hot. And we knocked out a bunch today. Oh, I just came up to look at this bearing tree stump and somebody got all fancy with the tags. I've not seen many people stamp tags. 1980. I was born. 1980. May 9th, copy. You can send me a present if you want next year. Today's my unbirthday, so you can send me a present today. Huffing and puffing, we got back up to this ridge. Looking back on the memory of I see nothing. <laughs> All right, we got the last one filled in. Now all we gotta do tomorrow and Monday is traverse this sucker with all our poo. And uh, hopefully it'll be a little cooler. We're under a heat warning right now. It's got to be 90. But I think it's supposed to blow out tonight. Thank God. I hate the heat. But anyways, glad you got to see me. Uh, might film again tomorrow. Probably not. I already got all the fun stuff done, finding stuff. So.